11 proves the why India is not like any other country. Let's check this out. Namaste everybody, welcome to my channel, welcome to Thinking Nash, a channel where we talk about India, Bollywood, song, music, actors, everything a little bit. So thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't done it, just you can do it here. As well, you can follow me in thinking.nash, my channel, where my Instagram, where I just can post some pictures, some TikToks, some, a little bit of everything there. So you can follow me there. Thank you so much for being here every day. Like a lot of you has been doing, like putting me there in the comments that every day you are coming and watching me. Thank you so much as well. Thank you for all your comments. I try to answer the most that I can because I really love to be in touch with all of you guys, like to have that connection. And I love that part. Today I am reacting that 11 things why India is a country like no other. Like for me, this is amazing because you know that so far I, I have been, I start all this to try to know more about India. So this video like was recommended. So I'm really looking forward to see it because I really, really, really dying to go to India that my plan is in November. So everything, hopefully everything goes to plan and I can be there for this year. But meanwhile, I want to learn the most, the most that I can about your culture, about your country, about your food, about your music, about your actors, about everything. So let's check this video. Let's see what it's all about. This video is from the channel Bright Side. So uh, thank you so much guys for making this video. Like this channel, like as well, if you haven't seen this channel, you can use there, subscribe, because I'm, I'm sure that this video will be amazing because you recommend it and you have a wonderful taste. So let's see this, what it's all about. Hey everybody, simple question for you. Who doesn't love traveling? Well, I sure do, and I've been to a lot of different countries, but there's one that will stick with me forever, India. Like I said, I'm pretty well traveled. I like to go abroad at least once a year, so I've got a lot of trips under my belt. But when a friend told me that I just have to see India, well, that's exactly what I did. I went in September, the last month of the summer monsoon. It was pretty dry and sunny, but with short rains here and there, the perfect weather for a traveler, if you ask me. Being the confident and well-experienced globetrotter that I am, I went there prepared, and I thought I was ready for anything. Boy, was I wrong. The colors, the contrasts, the pace, the people, everything hit me like a ton of bricks and didn't let go even when I was already back home. As soon as I stepped out of the airport, I felt dizzy. It could have been the heat, the jet lag, or the hunger in my belly. I assumed it was the latter. So I decided to head out for some authentic Indian food as soon as I throw my bags in my hotel room. Now, the food there deserves a big shout out. First of all, Indians eat very little meat. In fact, they have the lowest meat consumption per person in the world. Most of their dishes are vegetarian and meat is replaced with soy meat. This is mostly because 80% of the population is Hindu. Probably like you, I'd always heard that Hinduism requires a strictly vegetarian diet, but that's not the case. It's just because they believe not eating meat <laughs> minimizes the hurt they bring to other living beings. That's definitely one of the things I learned during mm. my travels, and I was pleasantly surprised. Another thing about food in India is that it's all heavily spiced. That comes as no surprise, really since India is well known across the world as the biggest spice producer and exporter. But there's one region that stands out exclusively in this regard, the state of Kashmir. It's home oh, to the nice. most valuable spice ever, saffron. Sure, this it flower is isn't unique to India. It also grows in Iran and Spain. Kashmir, however, produces the highest quality and the most expensive saffron in the world. I the never town knew of is literally built around saffron fields. There are actually three varieties cultivated there. There's mangra, the most expensive one, that costs about $1,600 a pound. Then you've got lacha, which, interesting enough, is less pricey at $1,000 per pound. Yet saffron farmers say it's the purest. And finally, there's zarda. It's the cheapest, but only compared to other varieties, because $250 a pound isn't exactly what I call cheap. Cheap is anyway, me. India's spice game is definitely on point. So, I found a good place to eat, and as soon as I saw the menu, I remembered that Indian is also famous for its large variety of teas, or as the locals call it, chai. 
You should see the sheer number of options. I never thought there could be that many types of tea. If you're a tea drinker, I'm sure you know Darjeeling and Assam. But have you ever heard of Karnataka or Kangra? Does Munar ring a bell? I don't blame you. I no. have no idea that these kinds exist either. And those are just the tea producing regions. There's even more once you get into the types of chai by adding particular spices and herbs. Take, for example, masala chai, which is made with cinnamon, ginger, cloves, and herbs. I personally fell in love with butter tea. It's so <laughs> thick and creamy. Mm, oh. I could drink it by the gallon. Basically, you take tea leaves, some butter, hot water, and salt. Mix it all up and thank me later. What? With a full belly and plenty of chai pumping through my veins, I was ready for some sightseeing. I landed in New Delhi, so I spent the rest of the day walking around and taking in all the sights. Whenever I go abroad, I like to carry a little phrase book in the local language. Well, if you ever find yourself in India, you're gonna need a really big book because there are actually 22 officially recognized languages there. That's crazy. English is among them, so I was okay just sticking to that. But those 22 official languages are just a drop in the huge linguistic ocean of the country. By different accounts, there are from 122 to 300 major languages spoken in India, as well what? as up to 1,600 lesser known ones. Basically, if you travel from one town to another, you'll hear people talking a different language. And if you happen to go to another state, you can forget everything you might have learned in your previous location. How they manage to communicate with each other is still beyond me. Yeah. New Delhi was awesome. I wish I could talk more about it, but I had a lot to see. I did find time to take a train up to Amritsar and see the Golden Temple. Ah, uh, how do I even begin to describe it? The whole thing is covered in gold and sits in the middle of a huge pool of water. This is where the tradition of langar takes place. Langar is a vegetarian meal that's given to any and everyone who comes to the temple, regardless of their background or beliefs. Just imagine that's super the cool. Golden Temple provides a free meal to over 50,000 people a day. And on special occasions, it can feed up to 200,000. I got a free meal too, and it was really delicious. You can volunteer there as well. I did just that because I was in so much awe about the place, I didn't want to leave. What I actually oh, regret that nice. is that I didn't get to see the Kumbh Mela in action. It's one of the greatest celebrations of India, and apparently it's a sight to behold. In 2011, so many pilgrims gathered in one place that the whole congregation of 75 million people was even visible from space. What? This year, it's taking place from January until early March. So if you've seen it with your own eyes, just know that I'm so jealous. In fact, whatever India does, it does it on a huge scale. For example, it has the largest number of post offices in the world. Wherever you go, you'll stumble upon one literally on every corner. The irony of this is that it doesn't really help the situation with delivery times. One Indian guy told me it's totally normal to wait for your package to be delivered in two weeks time, even if it was sent from a nearby town. But hey, patience is a virtue. It's the same as Mexico. But it doesn't stop there. India places third in terms of the number of Guinness World Record holders, the world's fastest nose typer, the most expensive wedding ever held, and the most selfies taken together are just a few of the bizarre world records held in this country. What else? The largest railroad network in the world? Check? Well, almost, since the United States does technically have more. But anyway, India has built over 3.5 million miles of That's railroads, crazy. which, considering the smaller size of the country, still means easier transit within and between different locations. Crazy With and that amazing. In mind, it shouldn't really be a huge surprise that Indian Railways is also the largest employer in the world. It has over a million employees. And considering the country's extensive railway network, these people are scattered throughout India. From the smallest villages to the biggest cities, the number of jobs grows every year. So it looks like you could always get a job there if you're looking for employment in India. Anyway, can try. what can I say about my final impressions? I was blown away and I seriously didn't want to leave this fascinating place. Visiting it was like going to a whole new world for me. I tried to get as many souvenirs as I could, but I almost forgot one important thing. If you ever go there, by the way, you'd better remember it too. No one is allowed to take India's national currency in or out of the country. It's That's actually crazy. against the law, so make sure you change your money before you cross the border. I almost made this mistake, 
but a friendly local told me to exchange my rupees at the airport. And off I went, headed back home with my suitcase That's full of exotic crazy. stuff and my head pulsing with impressions. That was amazing. Like really, like oh, I love these type of videos because it just make me want to be there like more crazy, more mad, more like I can wait to be honest. Like that part of the teas, I never imagined there was so many uh, types of teas as well. The part of the, 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 the trains, I wish Mexico has trains. We don't even have like one train. We don't, well, we have just one route, but it's like a tourist route, uh, but like it's amazing and i love travel by train i think it's one of the best ways to meet locals to see the country to do it by like a, a good budget a, a price so like this type of videos for me it just make me apply this type of video just make me fall in love more and more about india and all your culture all your like your food all your everything that is just in that country and for me the way that my brain has been changing like from even three, four months ago to now, it's just amazing and I can't wait. Even if I could stay there in India for two months, three months, like I think so, I would take it because it looks like it's an amazing country that you need to give the most of the time that you can. So hopefully I can, I can do it that one day and just get like completely full of your culture and learn the most that I can, go and buy like a traditional dress and just, I don't know, I'm just so excited about all your country, all your culture, and it's amazing to see all the things that your country has. And I'm sure that this video just was short to really say what was is amazing about India. He just like make a quick summary about it. But I'm sure that once that I've been there, or once that somebody is there, just the impression that you get and all the things that you will absorb will be beyond the words you know thank you so much guys for the recommendation you know that i love everything that you recommend i love all your your recommendations for songs for movies for trailers for for cultural things really i am enjoying this trip with you i am amazed for all the wonderful tastes that you have so thank you for keep recommending me in in youtube and in my instagram i read you all and i try to answer you all because like, you know, guys, like, I love the connection that we have. So thank you for that. And see you next time. Bye.